Everything you need to know about chickenpox, from symptoms to treatments. Chickenpox is a common childhood disease that is caused by the varicella zoster virus. Although it is usually mild, chickenpox can be quite uncomfortable and can lead to more serious complications. It is highly contagious and can be spread through sneezing, coughing, or even direct contact with the blisters. Symptoms of chickenpox include an itchy rash, fever, headache, and fatigue. Treatment usually consists of over-the-counter medications and home remedies to alleviate discomfort and reduce the risk of complications. It is important to seek medical attention if the symptoms worsen or do not improve as this could be a sign of a more serious condition. This article will provide an overview of chickenpox from symptoms to treatments, including when to contact a medical professional. What is chickenpox? Chickenpox is a common childhood infection caused by the varicella zoster virus. The virus causes a highly contagious disease that is most often associated with children between the ages of 10 and 18 years. The virus is highly infectious and can be spread by close contact with an infected person's saliva, mucus, or open sores. Chickenpox is marked by a series of small, red bumps known as puss bumps. These bumps develop two to seven days after infection and then fade a few days after they appear. The rash usually appears on the face, chest, abdomen, and arms but can also appear on the legs, feet, and buttocks. The rash is itchy, red, and swollen and lasts for about a week. Most people who get chickenpox have a mild illness, though it can be very uncomfortable. Symptoms of chickenox. The following are signs and symptoms of chickenpox that can occur during the first few weeks of infection. However, symptoms may also appear later in the disease, causing milder illness or even no symptoms at all. This is why it is important to see a doctor if you develop these symptoms, an itchy rash. The rash is usually small and red, but the bumps may be larger and purple, or change in color as the rash progresses. The rash usually appears on the face, chest, abdomen, and arms but can also appear on the legs, feet, or buttocks. High fever. The fever may vary between a low 101F to a high 103F headache. Sore throat. Fatigue. Causes of chickenpox. The varicella zoster virus is the cause of chickenpox. People can be exposed to the virus through direct contact with the skin lesions of someone who has the infection or with saliva, mucus, or lesions from an infected person who has an open cut or cut in the mouth. The virus can also be spread through coughing, sneezing, or touching an object contaminated with the virus, like a doorknob or door handle. Although chickenpox is common, it is possible to have a more serious form of the disease. The risk of this increases if someone has had chickenpox or if the infection is severe. Severe chickenox is usually caused by a weakened immune system and occurs in people who are older than 50 years. Risks associated with chickenpox. Chickenpox is a very common childhood infection and most people who are infected have a mild infection that is usually resolved within two to four weeks. However, the virus can sometimes cause serious complications including pneumonia, encephalitis, ear infections, severe skin infections, and inflammation of the eyes, conjunctivitis. Among children who contract the disease, there is an increased risk of developing shingles, herpes zoster, in older age. Shingles is an infection that causes painful skin lesions on the same part of the body where chickenpox was contracted. Approximately 50% of people who have shingles have another episode of chickenpox within a year. Treatments for chickenpox. The main goal in treating the rash and fever associated with chickenpox is to reduce the likelihood of complications. Treatment usually involves taking medications to reduce the fever and relieve the rash. The most common treatment is an antibiotic because chickenpox can lead to bacterial infection. However, there are also anti-inflammatory and anti-itch creams and lotions that can be used to ease pain and itching. If the infection does lead to complications, the doctor may prescribe antiviral medication to treat chickenpox and shingles at the same time. Some people with severe chickenpox may require hospitalization for intravenous IV antibiotics. When to seek medical attention. You should see a doctor if the rash is unusually large, the blisters are in unusual areas, the rash appears on the face, if you have a high fever, experience pain, or think you have a serious bacterial infection. If you have had chickenox or shingles in the past, you should also see a doctor if you develop chickenpox in subsequent infections. A blood test is often done to determine if you have contracted the chickenpox virus. If you are certain that you have been exposed to the virus and contracted the infection but developed no symptoms, you do not need to see a doctor. 
However, if you develop symptoms, you will know for certain that you have contracted the disease and can seek treatment. Prevention of chickenpox. Avoiding exposure to the chickenpox virus is the best way to prevent the disease. Careful hygiene including washing your hands before eating and after touching an infected person is the best way to prevent the spread of chickenpox. This includes avoiding contact with infected surfaces like doorknobs and door handles and staying away from crowded places where people are sneezing and coughing. Complications of chickenpox. Anyone who contracts chickenpox will have a mild illness, however there is a small chance that the infection could lead to serious complications. The most common complications, seen in between 1% and 3% of people, include pneumonia. This is an infection of the lungs and occurs when the chickenpox virus enters the body through a cut or break in the skin. Encephalitis. This is an inflammation of the brain that may lead to headache, confusion, or seizures. Eye infections. The virus can cause inflammation of the eyes, conjunctivitis, and lead to painful redness and itching. Herpes zoster. Shingles is a painful infection of the nerve that can occur in people who have had chickenpox. Home remedies for chickenpox. Do not scratch the rash as you may infect the skin. Wash your hands frequently with soap and warm water. Use an antibacterial hand soap or alcohol-based wipes. Drink plenty of fluids to prevent dehydration. Avoid touching your eyes, nose, and mouth. Take an anti-itch cream or lotion to relieve pain and itching. Stay away from people who are coughing and sneezing. 